Welcome to Heath Riles Barbecue. On today's episode of Shooting the Q, we're going to be doing something a little bit different. It's actually going to be pretty healthy, believe it or not. We're going to be cooking up cedar plank grilled catfish with a little bit of my chicken rub and garlic butter rub on the PK grill. Let's get started. Alright, to get started, we've let our cedar planks set in our sink, stopped up, and let them soak in water for about an hour and a half. I highly recommend letting them soak about an hour at least to absorb a little bit of moisture so they don't burn up too much on your grill. Now the first thing I want to do, I'm going to go ahead and coat my side right here that I'm going to put the fish on with a little bit of olive oil, believe it or not, and just kind of rub it on my board there before I put my fish on it. Now, I'm going to open up my fish. And I've got four fillets here. I'm gonna turn them on the bottom first. Then I'm gonna take some of my olive oil and of course drizzle on the fish just a little bit. Rub it in real lightly. You can use avocado oil or anything like that you have. And I'm gonna take a little bit of my garlic butter rub. Season it. Kinda of lightly, not a lot. Now this garlic butter rub's got butter buds in it, garlic, pepper, onion, roasted garlic. Actually got four types of garlic. Then I'm gonna come back with my chicken rub. Now a lot of people are probably gonna ask, why are you using chicken rub on fish? I named it my chicken rub because I love it in competitions on my chicken, but it's got the right amount of herbs in it, and so I love using it on everything else. Now I'm gonna flip my fillets, and I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. Now, once I've got them seasoned up, I'm gonna let them set here and hang out while my grill comes to temp to get ready to grill them off. Let's go out here and check on the grill. All right, our grill is up to temp, it's stabilized. We're cooking at about 400 degrees on the PK right now, 400, 420. And we're gonna go ahead and get our catfish on and grill them off. This is not gonna take long, so you kinda wanna babysit it. It's not gonna take but about 15 or 20 minutes on those cedar planks because it's not a lot of room in between the heat source and the grate on this PK 360. And we're gonna get them on. We're gonna let the grill lid shut. I'm gonna let it go for about 10 minutes before I check it, which should be good. It's gonna give us a good indication of how much longer they need to cook. You only wanna cook your catfish until they start flaking really well and it'll be done. All right, our catfish has been on for 15 minutes. We've checked it periodically after about 10 minutes on the PK. It was getting really close. So I went and got my thermopin out of the house. I've checked it, it's hitting doneness. You always want fish to be 145 degrees doneness. Anything after that's a little bit fine too. You don't want to get it on up in the 170 mark in my opinion. And so let's look at this grilled cedar plank catfish right here. It's got a great color from that chicken rub and that garlic butter. This is gonna be a great meal. Our cedar point catfish is off the grill now, and it smells wonderful. The little bit of char that these boards get, the roll up charcoal over that direct fire to cook this catfish, just screams old school, like a camping flavor or outdoorsy kind of feeling. Now, our chicken rub, like I said, has got some herbs in it. Our garlic butter has four different types of garlic in it. All we did was rub our board down in olive oil, coat our fish in olive oil a little bit, season both sides, and put it on our PK grill. It cooked for a total cook time of honestly about 15 minutes. Really simple, really easy, and there's only one thing left to do. Let's get a bite of it. So let's go ahead and try it now. Now this catfish is flaking like it's supposed to. Look at that. That is so good from the wood flavor. 
that chicken rub with the herbs in it, like I've said before, a little bit of heat comes through from that garlic butter, because it does have a little bit of heat in it. This is absolutely great. It's gonna be a light and delicious meal. And one thing that's more important than anything is quick and it's easy. So it's not gonna take you a lot of prep or a lot of time. Remember, if you like watching our channel, be sure to like and subscribe, tell your friends and share it, because we're gonna keep putting out weekly recipes and videos. Some of them are gonna be simple and easy for the beginner. Some of them is gonna be intermediate. Some of them is gonna be hard, let's face it, that's life. But no matter what, it's gonna be good at the end. And that's what you're wanting.